So my uncle lives in Hawaii and I gave him a call the other day and he was so thrilled that he was able to talk to someone and he has not really seen a whole lot of people. Uh, much like you haven't probably seen a whole lot of people this last year and a half and it's, it's been quite challenging. And I think now more than ever, people feel lonely. And at the core of us, we are designed, I think, for two things. One, to be loved, and second, to be known. And ultimately, in Christ, we are both loved and known uh, because of God's grace. And it's so important in these days um, to continue to experience that loving and knowing of God. Our church place is a high priority on fellowship in which we are the body of Christ and we are knowing and loving people and the Holy Spirit working through us is uh, ultimately knowing and loving people. We have a lot of events coming up in the fall and the whole point of these, uh, these uh, fellowship opportunities is for you to be known and loved. So we have growth groups coming up. Uh, go ahead and sign up for that. We have a number of great growth groups with great leaders that would love to shepherd you and be a part of their family. And we just thank you, uh, growth group leaders, for hanging in there. Uh, we took a little break for the summer. Hope you feel rested. And going forward, we're going to continue with our other ministries. So Awana starts up this coming Sunday. And it's a great opportunity for the kids to fellowship, learn about God's Word, um, to get some discipleship. And that's going to be great for the fall. We have uh, men's M Monday night football, and that's been really good for the guys to just get out and pray together and share what's really going on. And we have grief share as well, where people, a lot of us in many ways are grieving, and uh, some of us very profoundly grieving uh, very difficult losses. And so that is an opportunity for, uh, for you to experience the, the healing of God. And um, we just thank God that He is a, a God who is our greatest counselor. And I'd just love to pray for you as this has been um, and continue to be a challenging time, but I think very exciting. It's very exciting because I think God is doing something, even in the midst of tragedy, in which He is unearthing our idols. He is, he is shaking everything up um, so that the things that people were relying on as their foundation of sand no longer works for them. And I think now more than ever, people are open to the gospel. Um, so let me pray. Lord Jesus, just thank you so much for how you are working even in the midst of difficulty. Lord, you work all things together for the good of those who love you. And we just ask God that you would bless uh, this fall as we are launching growth groups and continuing with different ways of being able to fellowship. I pray God that our church uh, would feel uh, loved and known, um, mostly uh, by you primarily, but, but also within our community that we would know and love each other. We just pray this Jesus in your name. Amen. Take care. God bless.